Let's write the equation of this trig graph by just looking at the maximum and minimum. So you have the maximum. Uh, the maximum is the x coordinate is 180 and the y coordinate is 9.5 and the minimum and the minimum is how much 546 the x coordinate is 546 and the uh, y coordinate is 6.5 so these two facts or these two uh, coordinates will help us to determine uh, the other fact. So equation, let me write the general form of a sine or a cosine graph. So the equation is like this, y is equal to the amplitude, amplitude times sine or cos, sine or cosine. I'll write sine or cosine times 2 pi or 360. It can be 2 pi, which is in radians, or 360, divided by the period times, this is 360 degrees. It depends on what you want to write. So this will be x minus, let me scroll this slightly to this side, x minus starting point, sp stands for starting point, two brackets plus the baseline. So these are the facts we need to find from the maximum and minimum. So if you know the maximum and minimum, and when you're looking, uh, let's first find the period. So from the maximum to minimum, it's half the period. So that's one fact that you should know. If you go from maximum to minimum, it's half the cycle or half the period. So your this is 180 and this is 546 so we can say well half the period half the period is 540 minus 546 minus so let me be exact 546 minus 180 which is 366 so we can say half the period is 366 and so the full period would be double of that. So 3 so times by 2, which is 732. So which implies your, the period is 732 units. I don't know what that unit is, so let's write that is 732. So that's a very important fact. So we have figured out the uh, period. So now baseline. So the second thing, so this is the first fact that is, second fact you can find out the baseline. The baseline is the average of the maximum and the minimum of the y coordinate. So we can say this is maximum of y, of course, plus minimum of y divided by 2. So the baseline in this case, the maximum is 9.5 and the minimum is 6.5. So this is what I mean by maximum and this is the minimum. The sign graph is oscillating between 6.5 and 9.5. So this is 9.5 plus 6.5 divided by 2. So 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1 which is 16 divided by 2. So the baseline is 8. So let me confirm 9.5. I don't want to do silly mistakes. Plus 6.5 is 16 divided by 2 is 8. So the baseline is 8. The third thing is amplitude. The amplitude is, so let me, 8 would come somewhere. So if you draw the baseline here, yeah, the baseline would go halfway between this. So, so let's draw the baseline. So the baseline is going somewhat like this. Okay, halfway. So the distance between the baseline and the maximum, or the distance between the baseline and the minimum, is called the amplitude. So the amplitude is the difference between the maximum and the baseline. The maximum is 9.5, and the baseline is 8. So, well, this should be 
this should be 9.5 take away 8 which is 1.5 so the amplitude is 1.5 so we have figured out we know period you know amplitude and you know baseline okay and now we have to decide the starting point you can decide any starting point so let's say this is the starting point so if this is the starting point so from the maximum it is a cost graph so let's say the fourth thing we have decided the amplitude we have decided the period we starting point we know the baseline and finally let's decide the starting point so the starting point is let's say the maximum which is uh, 180 so let's say 180 comma 9.5 so in starting point we had to plug in this value the x coordinate so the equation so we can say it's a cos it's a positive cos graph because you're starting from the maximum so the equation would be y is equal to amplitude is 1.5 cos so let's say this is let's say 2 pi by 8 if you want to write this in radians 2 pi by 8 times x take away 180 2 pi by not 8 sorry it is the period so what's the period the period is 732 so 2 pi divided by 732 bracket x minus the starting point you're starting at 180 so minus 180 close the bracket plus the baseline the baseline is 8 okay or if you're starting at this minimum it is a negative cos graph okay so let's so let's confirm this and then we'll write uh, then from here it will be a negative cos graph if you're starting at the baseline at this point and you're going down it is so this point is halfway between that and then you can find that out so you can do that yourself if you're starting at this point at this point it is a negative sine graph at this point it is a negative cos graph and this point from baseline you're going up so it's a positive sine graph so if you're starting from baseline and you're going up it is positive sign and from baseline if you're going down it's negative sign from maximum if you're going down for maximum you'll always go down it's a positive cos graph so this point is from cos graph and from the minimum you always go up it's a negative cos graph so let's confirm this so we need to uh, set our calculative calc properly so let's go to graph and type in the equation the equation is 1.5 cos bracket 2 shift pi uh, so first let me do save this as a letter let me save this as a letter because calculator probably may not draw exact graph if I type in 2 pi divided by 732 okay so let's confirm this so let me first go to run menu and to two shift pi divided by 732 okay so this is a very small number so I can save that if you press this arrow key and if you press alpha a this will remember as this number so if you just want to confirm this if you press alpha a that will give you this okay so now I can go back to graph so and I'm going to type in 1.5 cos bracket alpha a bracket x minus 180 two brackets plus 8 okay I know this is say I'll go up to 1000 okay so on x-axis I'll go from 0 to 1000 at a step of say 100 
and y-axis I only need to go up to 9.5 so let's go up to 10 0 to 10 scale of 1 would do and draw the graph so this is the graph and just we need to confirm the maximum and the minimum so G sol and maximum is 189.5 G sol minimum which is 546 6.5 if you want to write the same graph same graph as a negative cos graph so the equation would be y is equal to uh, the only difference would be negative 1.5 because negative cos graph cos times 2 pi divided by 732 times x minus 180 plus 8 so let's let me show you that again so again get the calculator and uh, let me put a minus there and see what happens it's the same graph uh, oh no sorry the starting point has to change now the starting point is minus 546 so I had to type in minus 546 because the starting point has changed so let's go back and change that to delete this first and type in 546 the same graph G sol maximum 189.5 G sol minimum okay so you can try yourself by this point is halfway between 180 and 546 okay so just so let me finish that off halfway between 180 and 546 so let me add 180 plus 546 equal 726 and that divide by 2 I want to find halfway so this is 363 so this point if you want to write the coordinate this will be 363 comma 8 the baseline is 8 so at this point the graph would be the equation would be y is equal to from here it's a negative sign graph so it'll be minus 1.5 times sine sine uh, 2 pi by 732 that will remain the same so let me scroll this to this side 732 times x minus 363 the starting point has the phase shift in some books they say the shape phase shift plus 8 okay so let me scroll this to this side so that you can see the graph and then so let us type in so let us delete it and again type in again so negative 1.5 sine bracket you already have alpha a bracket x minus 363 two brackets plus 8 and see the same graph okay so g sol maximum 180 9.5 and minimum okay so this is how you can write equation of any trig graph by deciding the amplitude period baseline and amplitude these are the four parameters of any sine or a cosine graph